Oh, hi. Hello, my dear YouTube viewer. Um, I haven't made, in case you follow my videos or channel, um, I do have a subscriber or two, so if you're one of them, uh, I haven't made anything, as you might know, for a little while. And I had no plans of making one until this heat wave that we're experiencing in my neck of the woods passed. But uh, something happened ten days ago that I read, and this is... Every so often something will come across my screen, desk, what have you, that kind of uh, sticks in my mind, makes me ask some questions that, that whatever I read didn't answer. And let me tell you, that this is not a happy story. This is sad, depressing, tragic. So if that's not your cup of tea, you might want to not going any, any further. I found this very sad. Um, you may have heard about it or not. I'm not sure, but I will be sharing with you. So, uh, before it's too late, if you don't want to hear a sad story, you might want to, you know, click on to the next one. I'll, I'll try to make a couple more uplifting ones after this one, but this just kind of got some questions rolling around in my head. Um, okay. Disabled soldier thrown to his death by roller coaster. Uh, it's at a Darien, New York, a theme park where um, a United States Army veteran who's disabled was thrown to his death. And <clears throat> apparently he was an Iraq veteran. Um, he had he lost his legs, most of his left leg part of his right leg. There was some brain damage. I think he suffered a stroke. He had spent two or three years in rehab relearning how to speak and eat. Just recently out of rehab and he goes on a family outing to a theme park where he ends up dead being thrown out of a roller coaster. Um... I just read it. The, the latest update was that the investigators, and the investigators, of course, are going to focus on the theme park to see if they did everything, you know, uh, by the book and to the letter and all that. And they they gave them two violations. They said the the um, the operator didn't know the all of the correct safety procedures, you know, so that leaves room. For a lawsuit, the family will probably get some sort of compensation, throw some dollars at him, and that'll be the end of that story. Um, but for me, there are going to be all kinds of unanswered questions, and I'm just going to have to try to piece what little I know about it into a picture that makes sense to me. That's, that's what's going to happen with this. The, the main thing for... there's a couple of questions for me. And I'll read you some more info. Um, but what what the, one of the questions for me, or you know, the series of questions, is what what led to to this trajectory of somebody's life? Here's a guy, 29 years old, and the trajectory for him started off when he was you know born, and he ends up a disabled with his legs blown off and brain damage and rehab, dying from a roller coaster um, incident where he gets thrown out of, you know, somehow ends up falling out of a roller coaster. That's the end of his trajectory. And what led up to that, that's what interests me. How, how did it come to this? Um, and because a roller coaster... Uh, operator didn't know the correct procedure. Is that really the cause of this death? I mean, is that the answer? Oh, everything was going to be fine for this guy, but except for the roller coaster operator didn't, you know, know what was going on. Didn't know some procedure. He wasn't. Now that might be the politically expedient. The um, the 
uh, state of New York is getting a lot of questions. How could this happen? What's you know everybody's concerned about the, their family safety if they're going to go to this, you know, and that's part of the investigation, but that's not all of it. There's there's more to the story than just that. This guy did not end up dying a violent, horrible death because of this, only because of this theme park operator not knowing. You know, wh how, why weren't there other deaths? Why is it just this guy? I'm sure that wasn't the first day or the first ride for that theme park operator, uh, who's ever was working the, the, the gate there on that ride. <clears throat> this was a family outing. He was on the, um, the ride with a college age nephew. I thought. Earlier than that, before I, I read this article, I was thinking, well, maybe he was out with some army buddies and, and uh, <clears throat> he was an adrenaline junkie. That's not the case. Upon, you know, more, more information, it's a family outing, which that strikes me as odd. And his, one of his sisters, Miss Katie Marks, said that uh, the park attendants did not challenge him w wanting to ride on the roller coaster. Not one objection, she said. Not one question. And I'm wondering, what about the family? Where's the question and the, the objection from them? If it was my brother, I'd be saying, hey, let's, let's sit this one out, Jim. Let's go over here and, and, and you know look at the girls or let's go get something to eat. You know, I don't want to get on that ride. Here's somebody, my brother is in that shape and you're going to let him get on that ride? Uh, what kind of family culture, you know? The guy's 29 and, uh, you know, maybe he's headstrong, but still, it's my brother. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going along with that. Uh Anyway, that's just the kind of thing that uh, I'm curious about the story that, that I'm never going to hear on this. Just from the little facts that I, that I get, I'm going to have to make my own story. And um, this guy... it seems like there just was not the guidance at the, the critical times in his life that um, might have made a difference. And I'm not s saying that there's blame because if there's nobody around that knows any better, how can you how can you blame them for not guiding him? I just I don't know enough. That would be my investigation just for my own curiosity um, to, to find out why, what led to this particular trajectory, which seems incredibly tragic. I mean, here's, you know, you get so many 29-year-olds who are out there doing all kinds of things, and I see this particular story arc for this individual, and I just, what, what is it, how did that happen? What led to that? What, you know, and I'm, I'm never going to know. Um, it's just, we're going to you know, the only time you and me hear about it is at the very end, when, because of some oddball, a soldier, disabled soldier, dies from a roller coaster accident. I'm even thinking that, can, you know, suicide might have been uh, a possibility. I'm not ruling that out from what, you know, from what I know. He was dis divorced with two young daughters. The, the apparently the incident happened towards the end of the ride. Um, who knows? I, you know, I just don't know enough. But from what little I've read, uh, I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, beyond that, it just seems there just seems more to the story here. Anyway, feel free, of course, to to comment. Um, your thoughts, questions, and uh, I'll try to make a more upbeat video in the in the not too distant future. Just this heat wave 
this unrelenting heat wave that they were experiencing. Ay. Okay, well, peace. And take care of yourself.